Today we are decorating for Christmas, yay! but I can't remember it. That's your favorite ornament? Yes. It's bumpy, yes. We're really I, inspecting I this ornament. To... So today, we hey, are decorating for hey. Christmas, aren't we? I was gonna put Christmas music on. We are in our new house, and we haven't been here for Christmas, so this is exciting. And it's a day after Thanksgiving, so I'm so happy I lasted this long. I was so tempted to decorate before, but I made myself wait this year. The day's a day, and we're already all in our Christmas clothes, and even Angie's in a Christmas outfit. So it's just gonna be a fun and festive day. We have a lot of boxes here to sort through, don't we? Yeah. Some of these old clothes. Oh, I wonder if any of these fit. Oh, you remember the blanket? Why don't you go put that on the sofa? Oh, and here's all of like her Christmas Play-Doh. I saved all this stuff from last year. How fun. Oh, and all of our Christmas books. Okay, so this is kind of the kids box here. All right, this is funny because Layla was just talking. Mom, Layla. This one's not as fat as the other blanket. It's not as fat as the other blanket? Yeah, this one's much fluffier. Fat, fat that's a fun way to describe it. Okay, so Layla. You know how you were been wanting to learn to sew? Oh. Layla's been wanting to learn to sew. And I just remembered I bought these last year at the dollar section at Target. And it's learn it's like weaving. So maybe this will be a fun activity for us hey, to do later. Stop. And practice sewing. Mommy, That's your Play-Doh kit. Grandma sent you that last year and I saved it. Okay. So we'll take that. And these are all your Christmas books. We gotta set all these out. So this is all, oh, Christmas crafts. We got all sorts of stuff in I here. So this will be your box that we'll put stuff in. Well, I've already lost Layla. She's playing with her little Fisher Price nativity scene, so I guess I'll keep working. I'm trying to work as fast as I can and get as much done before Angie wakes up. See, I have so many of like these signs, and now that we have a new house, I have to find all new places to put everything. Oh, goodness. Oh, that was something Layla made last year. And here's our letters to Santa that always, oh, yep, see, always breaks. <laughs> I have a tendency to use every single decoration I have, and then it just gets overwhelming and it's so much to clean up. So this year I'm really trying to only take the things that I really like, and then maybe get rid of the things that I haven't used in a while, or ones that I just never really liked. So that way it's not just cluttered, and then it's not so crazy when it's the day after Christmas and I'm putting everything away. So trying to also look ahead and make things easier on myself. I buy everything from Target. Look what I just pulled out. This is from last year's that you wore. And now you have one this year. Here's another one. And I, I, I really liked these dresses. And I always save everything because now Angie can wear these when she gets older. Funny, I guess I really liked that dress. What did you find? I can I see? Cry. I'm so happy. You want to cry? You're so happy. Yeah. She just learned that the other day that you can cry because you're so happy. It's our climbing Santa. But Layla, where is he? He's not in there. He must have fallen out. He must be in a box somewhere. Well, uh -huh. Wolf Santa! So I have kind of a random assortment of stocking holders. I bought these before we had kids and now I get nervous having these because they're kind of heavy and if someone pulls on a stocking, it's gonna fall and crash on them. So Brian suggested maybe putting them way up here, but I don't know if that's enough space. So let's, let's test this out. Oh yeah, that's not gonna be, yeah, no. No, no, I veto that idea. All right, well, Layla, what, what are we doing here? What are you doing? I'm putting it on. Oh, you're gonna put it on the railing? It's so fun, decorating with kids. Oh, I thought she was waking. She was just turning her head. I got nervous there. Keep sleeping, girl. Oh no, she is moving. No! Look who's in her first Christmas costume or Christmas outfit. Is this crazy? She looked at me when I went to go get her from her, from her nap. Like, what is on your head? Oh, they're all gonna fly? Oh, cause the angel can fly? Uh -huh. Now that they're taped together, they'll all fly. That's very creative. Oh, wow. The whole nativity scene is flying. 
So Layla right now is playing with the Santa Russian doll. I'm not really sure what I want to do this year. Every year I usually like have like the fun little almost toy decorations that I put somewhere down low. But I also have one of those big St. Nick's Village sets. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put that down low. Like if Layla's old enough now that she might have fun playing with that. I don't really know, and I realize also I'm gonna have to move one of these shelves over here in order for us to put the Christmas tree over there. And just for the time being, just for this month, I think I'm gonna put it up here by the front door. What do you think, Layla? I gotta move this big shelf. What's wrong? Oh, you can't get it closed? I don't know this. I don't know if these match. Yeah, so maybe I will keep all like the little toy Christmas stuff here because Layla's already found one of the trains and is playing with it. She loves them, but they always fall apart and I'm constantly getting my glue gun out and fixing them. But she loves them and we found this. We found our climbing Santa. So we'll put that on the tree later. All right, I think I'm just gonna brave it and I'm gonna put out the Santa village. It's a lot, but I think Layla will like it, but I'm gonna put it up a little bit higher. I'm gonna put it up there. That's where I did it in our old house in that area. So that way it won't break, but she can also get up and look at it too. So here goes nothing. All right, Layla won. She really wanted these down lower so she could look at them and play with them. And I had to admit when I originally bought these, I bought them thinking she'll love looking and playing with them. So I was like, I can't put them up high. They gotta go down low, but this is such a short little space. I probably won't be able to put all of them up. So it's kind of a win-win, so it's less to put away at the end of Christmas. So explain to me this. So it just snowed. All the stuff got snowed on. Oh, so that's been snowed on. Okay. Oh, I love it. So the OCD in me just wants to rearrange everything. But then I have to remember this is Christmas. This is for the kids. And I just need to stop thinking about how much work it's going to be to put all this away and just embrace this. It'll all get picked up and organized. Right now I'm a little overwhelmed, but I just keep remembering this is for her, this is for Angie, this is for their memories, and I just need to get happy. <laughs> Stop thinking about the mess. We are nowhere near done, but I'm gonna show you what we have so far, because we're saving the Christmas tree and the outside for tonight. At least the Christmas tree for tonight. We'll see when we get around to the outside. Here's our table, and I need to fix this. I just threw some stuff in here, but I definitely need some more stuff to arrange it a little nicer. And then I put up these wreaths. I'm still not sure if I like them or if it looks too cluttered there. I don't have enough stuff for there, so I might get another Santa or just rearrange that. I have a few signs here and our cookies over here, kind of like our little coffee area. We got our silverware and I just kind of put some big flowers there to make it a little more decorative. We put some garland going up the stairs. Now I have so much like shelf space, like countertop space. So I definitely don't have enough stuff for up there, up there, especially since I decided not to do the Santa's village there. Here's a little kid area and the kid books and everything. And then like the kid fun toys. And here's this that Layla did, which is I think it looks beautiful and I'm very proud of her. And we even put up some little tea lights. Let's turn these on so you guys can see it. Layla, did you see these with the lights on? It's daylight, so it doesn't look as pretty, but it's looking cute. And then the bathroom, I was kind of making it my snowman. I got that, I got a snowman towel. We had a few snowman knickknacks, but a few more things when it hurt. What are you doing, Missy Poo? You mailing some things? See, that's why it's always good to have a little shelf for kids to play with all this. She'll play with this all the time. All right, so we're kind of taking a break from from decorating and I found this huge bag, I was looking for this forever, of all of Layla's old Christmas clothes. And so many of these things are gonna fit Angie, so we're kind of dressing her up right now. Look how cute these are. Do you wanna say uh, hi? Shiley's over now, Layla's, wearing, Layla's friend. Shayla. I remember your Mommy. sissy wearing these. Mommy. I love it. I'm so glad I always keep kept all of these just in case I ever had another little baby girl. And now I get to, I have, don't have to go buy any Christmas clothes for Angie. I've got them all. I just got to sort through these. I have like nine months, 12 months, 18 months. This is awesome. She rolled over. Yeah. She rolled over. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh my goodness, you all are so funny. 
right, it's nighttime. We thought this would be a good time to start getting the tree out. So I always grew up having a fake tree. It just bothered my sister, my mom's allergies to have a real tree. Brian, I never knew this. He always wanted a real tree. I'm sorry. In Ohio, I would go cut mine down and bring it home in the Jeep. I didn't know. And so like for seven years now or eight years now, he's been just putting up with a fake tree for me. So maybe this year we'll get another tree too, like another small, like real tree. So we actually have the nice real tree smell. But I wanna know you guys, do you have real or fake trees in your home? Leave me a comment below, let us know. These ornaments, some of these we put on your tree, actually up in your room. Okay. Aw, Layla, your first Christmas. Look at you. Aw, that's a special one. So I try to keep the tree down here a little bit more, I don't wanna say formal, but just kind of more grown up. And then I put all the fun ones on her little Christmas tree that we put in her room. Although now I'm kind of wanting, I never thought I would want this, but I want a flocked Christmas tree. So maybe black, or the day after Christmas this year, if there's some good deals, I'll get a flocked Christmas tree for next year. Normally I kind of hide all the fun ornaments and we go put them on her tree first, but since she's seeing them down here, I have a feeling they're gonna go on this tree, so that's okay. As I said earlier, I'm coming to terms that Christmas, you know, it might not be the most beautiful storybook decorating, but it's perfect for our family. Ryan, you picked out a gorgeous tree this year. Thank you, I shaped it myself. You did, and you cut it and trimmed it and everything? Beautiful, honey. I'm very proud of y'all. Lift him up, Layla. Lift him up. No. Oh, oh, oh. Save the star. Save the star. You dropped daddy. I'll carry you. All right, Layla, your job. Angie and I will stay down here. Right, Angie Pie? There it goes. There goes the star. Oh, I need some assistance. Oh, dear. Perfect. Is it done? Looks good to me. What do you it's think, done. Angie? Is it good? Yay. Woo. We forgot Mr. Santa Claus. Oh no. There, now he's ready to climb up the tree. Good job, Layla. I can't believe we forgot him. So we're definitely not gonna make it to the outside today. But follow us on Instagram and we'll be sure and post what our outside looks like the day this was live. So follow me on Instagram, Hey Mama's 18, or TikTok, Hey Mama's TikTok. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you're having fun decorating too, if you're decorating. Do you want to say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Andy says bye too. Bye. Brian, Brian, you gotta say bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.